Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sandy and in this video, I'm gonna test out if you can make fluffy slime with powders, no shaving cream or shaving foam involved. So starting off with clear glue, I'm adding about one baking soda. No, that's not what I meant. I added about one tablespoon of baking soda and an equal amount of citric acid into the glue. As I kept stirring and stirring, it started to fizz up and it kind of looks like shaving foam, doesn't it? Which led me to think, can you make fluffy slime with this? So I proceeded to add my activator, which I used about one teaspoon of borax mixed in with one cup of hot water. I also added more clear glue along the way. And in case you didn't know, citric acid and baking soda are the main ingredients in what makes bath bombs fizz. So originally, that was my intention, if you can make fizzy slime with it. And actually, I made a video and tested this out and uploaded it a long time ago, but that didn't turn out too well, so I'm remaking it with a different purpose. Boy, oh boy. This took so much activator and it took such a long time. So what I really suggest you guys to do if you were to test this out yourself is to use a really strong activator, something like two teaspoons of borax to one cup of water. It would be much faster for you to activate the slime. So after all that, this is what I get. And it's kind of interesting. The texture when you touch it is kind of wet, but then after taking your hand out for a bit, it dries out, of course. It's just kind of like a wet to dry texture. It's kind of weird. And it's pretty thick, but I wouldn't say that this is a true fluffy slime. Obviously, I had to do a lot of experimenting before I was successful, so I wanted to show you all of the attempts that I've done, and they're not in order, by the way. So with clear glue, I wanted to see if there was a difference if I were to use a greater amount of the powders. I used about one fourth cup of each, and even with a really strong borax solution, it would not turn into slime whatsoever. It just stayed liquidy. So of course, I wanted to test it out with white glue, and actually, this was my very first attempt. I added about 1 4th cup of each of the powders. Something I noticed with the white glue is that the foam actually dissolves way faster than the clear glue. Because this was my very first attempt, I used a regular borax solution. So after stirring and adding so much solution, I figured at this point it was a waste of my borax solution and a waste of glue. It just did not work. I even tried adding actual slime into it. I don't know why, I just, I had hope, but it just did not work at all. I just had to suck it up and let it fail, even though it's so sad, so sad. I figured it could be because I used too much powder, so I toned it down to one tablespoon of each. I did use a strong solution for this, and even with that, it just didn't work. For a second, it looked like it would work, but it just went downhill from there, unfortunately. Well, that crosses white glue off the list. It does not work no matter how much powder you use, no matter what kind of solution, borax solution, activators you use. Overall, even though it's quite fascinating to see the powders foam up like that, this is what happens to the slime after about a day. Ew. Gross. Just ew. All jokes aside, honestly, it just looks like a sponge being soaked in water. It's not that dramatic. That is it to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up if you did. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.